Depending on your location, sorghum has several names. Some call it Milo, others call it maize. But regardless of the name, one thing remains the same. Sorghum is the smart choice. Farmers throughout the sorghum belt have experienced their fair share of challenges during the last few years. Drought and water availability continue to impact planting decisions. Farmers need a crop they can depend on, a crop that will make it in spite of Mother Nature. We have been farming about 25 years and we've always grown sorghum. Our operation is all dry land, so we have to choose crops that are drought tolerant and sorghum is probably one of the best choices in this area. My dad always grew sorghum, so I kind of kept the, the family tradition and always kept up growing sorghum. When it comes to more crop per drop, sorghum stands tall. Its natural drought tolerance offers growers a dependable dry land option, and it performs well in limited irrigation settings. Farmers plant sorghum for a variety of reasons. Its efficiency in both input use and water usage reduces your economic risk while helping you maximize production. Sorghum gives you more bang for your buck. Saving that sub-moisture through the season before going to the no-till milo uh, has just allowed us to, in general, grow a crop um, when, when we otherwise might not have. With strong demand and profitable pricing, now is a great time to be a sorghum grower. Major industries such as ethanol, livestock feeders, and international exports are strengthening U.S. sorghum prices to new highs. The market's been very good. It's been a very good economical crop to grow and the financial rewards at these prices have been a good profitability in growing grain sorghum. Sorghum also makes an excellent rotational crop with cotton, wheat, or other grain crops. In a rotation, sorghum offers a great opportunity to increase soil moisture holding capacity while reducing disease pressure. Rotating with sorghum can also help increase yields for both crops and improve soil health. The grain sorghum has been part of our, our rotation for many, many years. It is part of my crop rotation that allows me to keep my soil in the condition I want. It helps me utilize my water and, 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 and maximize my bottom line. Uh, with grain sorghum, you actually can reduce your input costs. We just don't get much annual rainfall and sor sorghum really does work well into our rotation. Sorghum uses different modes of action for herbicide management. It allows growers to throw a change up to weeds. We've gone to, uh, to great measures to make sure that we've had weed control on this because we did a post-plant pre-emerge of dual and atrazine and followed by emergence a chemical that's done very well to control the weeds. Sorghum is a smart choice at every level, from farm profit all the way to the environment. Don't take my word for it. Hear what these producers have to say. I like growing sorghum. It's a good rotation for me. We felt like that sorghum was the best, the best uh, option for our water use and uh, livestock feed and, and all those kinds of good things. I think grain sorghum is a good crop to plant anywhere and then it just depends on, on how you manage it and, and the inputs you put to it. The, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. It's a good drought resistant crop and the current uh, field we're in is dry land and it's, uh, it's done well on a limited amount of moisture. Sorghum, the smart choice. Brought to you by the Sorghum Checkoff. For more information, visit sorghumcheckoff.com.